Welcome to Digital Asset News. Take a top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today we've got some additional information to talk about as far as the Ethereum project goes. And first and only up, NFT marketplace OpenSea to add Ethereum layer two protocol for gas-free trading. And if you've been following the channel for a while, you know I've been pretty hard on Ethereum because of their issues with time constraints, with the issues of pushing back projects, with the issues of fees. And now it looks like uh, everything's starting to come out pretty well. So we'll take a look at that and uh, I may have to eat a little crow. On top of that, uh, we'll take a, just a little follow-up on a video that we did yesterday as far as investment properties and buying with cryptocurrencies. Just a quick update as to what exactly happened with that uh, Celsius loan that I got, amazing. And then uh, we'll finish up they're just talking about, actually it was a great comment that I got yesterday. This was from uh, Crypto Cowboy about his genius plan, uh, which was actually a pretty good plan and what he plans to do as far as to pay back certain loans. So we'll go over all these things, but first let's take a look at what is going on into the market. So right now it is uh, April 2nd and I'm glad we're done with April 1st because I was so sick of seeing all those stupid April 1st videos and jokes and uh, things on Twitter because you didn't know what, what was real and what was not, whatever. Some of them, I mean, some were funny, but some just did it so awful. I'm just like, this is just stupid. So I'm glad we're here on April 2nd. That's all I can say. Uh, also, what I'm also glad about is that we're almost at a $2 trillion market cap. Can you fathom that just, uh, you know, six months ago, a year ago? Just a year ago in March, when we had that huge black swan event, when everything just dived down, Bitcoin's around $3,000, $4,000. Ethereum was 100 bucks. Everybody was like, this is it. It's never going to come back. And now here we are, $2 trillion market cap. I mean, whew. if you bought around then, which I did, I just didn't do enough of it, uh, then you do pretty well. But remember, you bought what you could when you could to so just be happy with where you're at and uh, uh, good enough. So today, Bitcoin is almost at 60,000. We had actually touched over 61,000. So, hey, not too bad. Let's uh, see how that goes. Again, ebbs and flows. And there's always going to be a little bit of retracement. Uh, Ethereum, I think, yeah, Ethereum did touch 2,000. Now it's back to 2,077. So congratulations, Ethereum holders, all-time high. Uh, I am one of those. Binance Coin, again, is uh, up in that massive run, 348 and uh, up 6%. And the reason why Binance Coin is up so much is because of their chain where they're able to uh, do all these different uh, exchanges on, on their swap, their uh, smart chains. And they're able to do a bunch of different, uh, like I said, swaps for different cryptocurrencies, just like a DEX, just like a Uniswap, but you're using the, the Binance coin instead of Ethereum. That's why they're up so much. So we'll see how long that lasts with uh, Ethereum doing what they're doing. Uh, Tether's Tether, and they just got an audit uh, from, it's kind of weird, we covered this yesterday. They got an audit from a, an auditing firm in the Caymans Island, which said that yes, they are backed 100%, actually more so, uh, for every tether that they're actually printing. So uh, all those fears that people were saying that tether was just uh, overblown and, and not being backed by anything, well, auditing firm came in. It is a little bit weird that it's from the Cayman Islands, but uh, hey, Cayman Islands, I mean, let's be honest, uh, how many crooked places are out there in the world? Uh, it doesn't matter if you're in traditional finance or whatever else, there's crooked places everywhere. So if they're going to certify it, sure enough, let's do it. Uh, Cardano, let's just, everything's up. Everything's up except for Filecoin. And I will just say this, for everybody who held Filecoin, congratulations. I don't own any Filecoin, but that was a massive run up. I mean, it was just uh, huge and now it's down 20%. But to go from 30 to $40, now we're at 184, that's amazing. So again, uh, in the crypto markets, actually in any market, if it's gonna go up this high, this fast, you know there's going to be a rebound. Nothing goes up forever, and this is a prime point. Never, ever start to buy things as it's going parabolic hockey stick all the way up. The best time to buy is when things are boring, uh, which could be not today, I'll tell you that. All right, so that's what's going on. Also, let me blow this up so you can see what I'm talking about. Also, for Trade the Chain, I'm going to uh, click on that little nice projected range and see what could potentially be great in the next hour or so. So if you're a big trader, look at Velas, 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 uh, Storm X, DigiNote, Green Power, Ethereum Classic, <laughs> Ion and Civic. And just so you know, these little numbers here, this one's in the middle. This is with 90% assurance. This is what it's going to be the next hour. So you're looking at 3% gains, two and a half, two, 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 pretty good. Storm X, I have to tell you this, what's going on with that? 
this is the one that Alex Masculi has been talking to me about forever. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll look into it. I actually bought some a, a while back and I'm pretty happy with the position that I got into. And I've been talking about this on my channel for a while, not as much as some other projects, but again, it's one of those tokens that actually does something. So, right. So StormX, you can go to stormx.io. And uh, what's great about it is that first of all, it's over 750 stores. So you can like, like Ryan over there at Traded Chain, he actually bought his Adidas about a month ago with it. And because he got crypto back and all his purchases, the, it paid for themselves. So that, that's what you're into. I don't buy a bunch of stuff, but I mean, this is one of those tokens that actually does things. I and mean, these are all the different partnerships that they have. So um, yeah, pretty good. On top of that, and we'll talk about this in a bit. If you, where's that button? Staking, yeah. If you stake right now, StormX, 15%, uh, you know, a APY, so not too bad. Anyhow, that's what's going on today's uh, market, market stuff. Let's take a look at what's going on as far as our top story. So this is what I want to talk about. You've been on the channel for a while. You know, I haven't been very happy with Ethereum, and people have been like, why are you so negative on Ethereum? Why are you so negative on Ethereum? Because nobody gets a pass on this show. That's why. Like, there's a problem right now with Voyager. And there's a different things that are happening where like people can't, there's a problem with some people not being able to get uh, their crypto off of Voyager. So I called out Steve. This is like the third time I've done it. And of course, it's all about growing pains, but you know, you have to push the people. Remember, uh, they work for us. It's not the other way around. So Ethereum, I'm not a religious fanatic. Okay. So if Ethereum is having problems where they're like, hey, you know, sorry, it's uh, there's these huge fees and there's these huge wait times. I'm not going to stand for that. I'm a consumer. And if uh, it doesn't work out, I'll go someplace else. And I don't have to stay here. You don't have to stay here. And if you want to stay here, that's fine. Now, when things come around, I'll change my mind. And here we are today. So NFT marketplace, open seed at Ethereum layer two protocol for gas fee trading. All right. This is what I was talking about. Great. So I'm not going to sit around and trade $50 worth of, of uh, Ethereum so I can pay $55 in fees. That makes no sense. But if something like this comes along, I'm pretty happy. So here's what we got. The marketplace, this is OpenSea, says it'll be adding support for trading via decentralized protocol Immutable X. OpenSea said Wednesday that technology will provide instant trade confirmation, increased scalability, and zero gas fees. That's fantastic. Exactly what I was waiting for. Integrating Immutable X enables us to offer users a gas-free trading experience without sacrificing the security of the Ethereum network. This is from OpenSea header product, Nate Shastain. The protocol is capable of processing 9,000 transactions per second. That's pretty darn good, 9,000 TPS. We built Immutable as a ZK rollup. ZK rollups are a crypto method for verifying and settling transactions in mass. So instead of just doing, so really what it is is like this, rollups, put it as simple as I possibly can. And I'm not a very technical person. Go watch Hashoshi. That guy's a genius. He, he knows a lot of things. He's in my description. So ZK roll up, instead of doing one transaction on the network, they're going to roll up a ton of transactions, whether it be 100, 1,000, 10,000, whatever else it is, on a layer two, send it over, and it's only one transaction instead of, uh, of all the 10,000, instead of one, 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 all the 10,000, which will really free up the whole network. And that's what we're talking about. So I will take something like that. Now, I took a look at Immutable X as far as what it has. Nice website. A lot of people have great websites. And it seems pretty interesting. Zero gas fees, instant trains, and scalability for games, applications, marketplaces without compromise. You've got zero gas fees for peer to peer trading. Set your own trading fees. No custodial risk. Keep your private keys. 9,000 TV, just like I talked about, right? And then it goes on to all the different things that it has. I actually sent out an email to them because I could not find their like Twitter accounts or Instagram or any of that stuff. So uh, I'll just, I sent an email, hopefully they can come on the show and just talk to us about how this actually works. And then we talked about ZK rollups, but here's the thing. If they have something like this going that well on OpenSea, because right now you can go to OpenSea, I think it's OpenSea.io, I'm not for sure. Don't check me in the comments, but you can create an NFT. I've created a couple of NFTs and I've sold them. One was me in that Shill King t-shirt. The other one was uh, the first thumbnail I used for my first video and they sold on OpenSea. And there was no transaction fees to create them. Well, I was like, well, how does that work out? You know. So here's my question, everybody. So if we have something like this, and it works out pretty well for NFTs, 
Why can't we create a DEX out of this? Why can't we do other things that Ethereum should be able to do? Maybe this is the thing that Visa was talking about as far as partnering up and uh, putting USDC on their platform. USDC is a stable coin. It is an ERC-20 stable coin, which will run the Ethereum network. So maybe this will actually happen. And this is what I'll just tell you uh, for this. Yes, I'm hard on Ethereum, but I'm only hard on those that I love. <laughs> That's really what it comes down to, but honestly, if you're going to put your money into it, again, they work for us, not the other way around. If they fix those things, I'm happy. Everything is good and I'll change my mind. So if this can happen, I see big things. Now, as this all went about, at no point in time did I say, I'm gonna sell all my Ethereum and put into something. I'm just not that way. I have an exit plan. And last time when I hit 2000, which was I think about a month or so ago, a month and a half ago, I sold a little bit of Ethereum as per my exit plan. But as things were, I was not being very happy with them. It wasn't like I was going to sell everything and put it into tomato coin or whatever else, right? I'm just not going to do that. I'm just going to wait and see what happens. Pretty smart people will see what it is. And I know some people had said, like, they give me a lot of slack for talking about Cardano. I don't understand. I think Cardano could be, still be a great thing. Again, I'm just an investor. It's not a religion. It's not that I'm putting uh, all my emotions into it. You need to take that out of the equation. And if it makes you money, then it makes sense. So that's really all I'll say. And uh, hopefully I wish the best because uh, right now Ethereum is my second biggest hold. Cardano is my third biggest hold and on down the line. So hope it all works out. Anyhow, let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on to our next video.